Holly Rock again. So another topic that I wanted to talk about was the single life. So I'm talking to this dude and I told him that, you know, one of my best friends, Greg, <laughs> he said that I act like what Chili wants. And when he said that, I got so weak, like, what do you mean? So, you know, he explained to me what I was, um, you know, what he understood. And I said, you know, okay, I can, I can see kind of where you're going, but what Chili wants, I mean, she went from, you know, they can't eat pork, they can't smoke, they can't drink, they can't, well, she even went as far as the size of their, um, mm -hmm, the size of their penis. I may have to scratch that out because, you know, kids watch this too. So, but they, you know, she, she went overboard. Like the first show, she went overboard on the stuff that, and you know, I can understand that when you're a female and you've been hurt and you want such and such. I mean, that's just what you want. I mean, it's, it's not, all, it's not saying that you're going to get it, but that's what you want. So, um, like this one dude, you know, he likes me. He's a nice guy. I, um, he's a nice guy. I can't say that, you know, I don't know where it's going to go, but he's a nice guy. So, um, when I told him that, you know, we just having conversations and he's talking about he can understand and we've only been in conversation for like two and a half, three weeks. So I'm thinking, how can you even say that and you don't even know me like that so um like he had asked me why well, I had told him what my type was and so you know I said tall because I'm six feet I said tall dark skin um muscular thick not fat fat and um you know he said I was picky picky Cause I want somebody tall, dark skin, and you know, I mean, that's what I like. That's my type. I was explaining to him what's my type, and then he was talking about when you said you need, you gotta have. I said no. I said this is what this is my type. Don't add in what I'm saying in my conversation. I don't like that. So listen to what I'm saying. Don't add on to it. I mean, if you have a question, you know, just ask the question. You know. So he talking about, yeah, I can understand that you picky and blah, blah, blah. Why is it always the women are, why, why are we always considered so picky? Now I know some things, you know, we do go crazy on, but <laughs> that's just what we want. And then guys are the same way. Like I was telling him that, um, you know, y'all be having weight preferences too. So do we. I mean, because we're single and because we're in Christ, are we supposed to accept any and everything that comes our way? I mean, that's, come on. Are you serious? So, I mean, I'm just a little bit confused. What do y'all think about that single people? Um, I'm not picky. I don't think that I'm picky. Like I told him, I want holiness. If I'm holy, I want you to be holy. And, you know, if you're tall and dark skin, it helps it out. You feel me? <laughs> But, um, I don't know. I guess some people would think I'm picky. And, like, you know, it's been a couple dudes in my life that, you know, even last now this one dude. Was that last year? This, oh, he was even light-skinned. And I was like, oh, I can work with that. <laughs> he was light-skinned. But I like dark skin. But, you know, I was like, okay. This baby was fine. Bald headed, nice lips, nice hands, good head on his shoulders, smart, was in school, had something to strive for, had conversation, liked to have fun. Oh, he was my Valentine's Day. <laughs> and he, it just didn't work out. Oh, can y'all see I'm heartbroken? <laughs> I mean, oh my God, I would have loved, I mean, he, oh Lord, God Almighty, but, um, you know, it didn't work out. So 
you know, I had even like a couple years ago, it was this uh, shorter guy. He was cute, but like my one friend, um, she had told me that he was a liar. And you know, I, I, I accept people's and like this this girl, she has no reason to lie about anything. You know, we real cool. She got my back, I got hers. So, and even her husband said he was a liar. He's a musician. So, um, I was like, okay, I'm going to keep that in mind. But you know, we were still cool. And as I went on, I seen patterns. You're a grown man. I'm not going to keep picking you up on a date. I can understand if your car is down, but I'm not going to keep picking you up. So, and then, you know, you told me you have a daughter, a child. But I found out you got like six or seven kids. And then the job that you told me you had, you didn't have. And you used that same line on one of my Facebook friends. So, I found out that you really are a liar. And then, like six or seven months later, you want to text me like everything is cool. Mm-mm. Sorry. And, uh, you know, there's been a couple guys that, you know, are just friendship material. You know, we cool. I'm, you know... We cool. There was no connection and no attraction whatsoever. So, but I mean, it's it's just weird that because you're single, you're female, and like I'm 34, and back in the day, you know, I'd be considered an old maid because back in the church where I grew up, it's always you know with the women, it's kind of put upon you that if you're not married, you're nothing. And if you're not married, then you don't have a life. It, it, it was never um, put into the plan or, or put into your ear that if you're not married, you should be doing thus and so and, you know, get your, further your education, further your time with the Lord, your relationship with God, seek God in this. And, you know, there was nobody there to take you under their wing and, you know, mold you and all of that type of stuff. It was always you got to be married. So, you know, that's that's kind of stuck in my mind, too. That's that's what I had to realize on the shut-in is I got to get that out of my mind. And, you know, you got to have kids or you're nothing. If, you, if you're not married and you don't have children, then you're nothing. So I had to get that out of my mind, too. You know, it's still there a little bit. But that's like years upon years of that put into your soul. And when you have to pull that out of your soul, I mean, that thing done grew roots. And you got to pull that out of your soul. That hurts. Because, you know, that's like what you identify with. That's what they put into you. So, you got to get that out of there. So, um, but then like also with the church, we're always taught that, you know, the man is the head. And they got to lead you into this and that. And. You know, I understand that. That's cool because I don't want to marry a guy who don't have a prayer life. You feel me? Because, I mean, I need you to have a relationship with God outside of me. And uh, what else? Um, yeah, I don't like to be called picky. Can you tell that gets on my nerves? So I don't think I am. I mean, you know, I want some things. and Like deal break. He did ask me about the deal break. <laughs> and I said... <laughs> I said a deal breaker for me is a real big dude. If your belly is over your lap, if it's over your lap, then I'm cool. I just, I don't like real big guys. And if your boobs are bigger than mine, I would rather not. So, I mean, you know. And then I'm sure, you know, guys have preferences too. You know, they, I could be too tall. I could be too fat for them. They may not like my natural hair. I mean, that's just what they want. So, you know. But I like talking to him. He's funny. He, he may want to snap on him sometimes. He ain't text me today either. So I'll text him a little bit. <laughs> but that was kind of funny, so... So yeah, I'll be back on here. All these videos gonna be loaded up on Thursday. So, but yeah. But you know what y'all think about that? Are y'all picky? Am I picky? Tell me the truth. I don't think I'm picky. I just want what I want. I mean, why do I gotta accept just anything you throw my way? If that was the case, I'd have been married like early, early twenties. 
even in my teenage years. Then I got divorced, got married again. I mean, I could have had about four husbands. But I mean, who wants to do all that? This is too much. Just give me one, and I'm cool. Holy Rocker out. I will be back.